Hello friends and welcome to this video tutorial. Myself N.V. Patil, Assistant Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department of KK Wag, Institute of Engineering Education and Research Nashik. In this video tutorial, we are going to analyze the machine component using 3D elements and we are going to use ANSYS workbench. Let's consider the lifting bracket having the size of 200 by 120 which is fixed at the bottom and lifted by a load of 20 kN at the top. To compute the deformation and stresses in the bracket using the ANSYS workbench 19.1. So let's start. To start the ANSYS, press the start key and type workbench. You will be get here the workbench 19.1. Click on it. It will be get loaded within few seconds. Now you will be get this ANSYS workbench window on your screen. So here this is the project schematic. At the top this is the main menu and to the left hand side there is a toolbox. So if you minimize this analysis system, there are five components analysis system, component system, custom system, design explosion and ACT. So as per the type of analysis we are going to select one component from this analysis system. So click on this plus icon. Here we are going to carry out the static structural analysis. So when you observe here the static structural analysis is available. Now you can drag and drop it in onto the project schematic where you will get a six cell. So it means we have to follow these six steps to get the solution. This uh, by default the name is static structural. You may rename this project. So let me give the name as a lifting bracket. now click anywhere so the name is get change now we have to define the unit first so click on the units in main menu and we are going to select the metric units so by default this is are selected so keep as it is the metric then click now first thing we have to define the engineering data so there is a right tick mark it means by default the structural steel is assigned as a material so if you want to change you can right click on the engineering data and click on edit <coughs> this window will be get appear here the structural steel by default will be applied its properties will be shown here the, all the properties of the structural steel will be assigned to the material now if you want to add any new material then you can able to click here and add your new material uh, give the names and again you can define the properties as per the new material there is also a huge library of the different material is available to select the material from the library we need to click on this engineering data sources then here there are various options are available so according to that option whatever the material you require you can select suppose i need a composite material then i can click on this composite so accordingly this option will be going to be changed and from that composite again you can able to select the what type of material you require so if you require the honeycomb click on this add and it will be get added and that material you can assign to your geometry but now for this our problem we are going to select directly the same as a structural steel so no need to change anything directly clicking on this engineering data sources the structural steel is by default assigned as a material so no need to change anything here uh, close this engineering data and go to the project schematic so after closing you will be get here again in geometry we have to define the geometry so right click on the geometry you can able to create the new geometry by using space claim or design modeler or you can also able to import the geometry from any modeling software so there are and to create the geometry there are two options new space claim and new design modeler if you are new one select the space claim geometry if you are familiar with the design modeler you can also choose design modeler you may choose any one from these two as per your convenience i am going to select as a space claim so clicking on the space claim this place claim window will be get open within few minutes bottom it shows a starting space claim so it needs some time after that you will be get this a new window of space claim will be appear on your screen it is same as your modeling software window at the top there is a ribbon toolbar so where you can able to create the sketches change modes that is sketch mode or solid mode <coughs> then edit intersect create and body option 
Now to create the sketch, we, we require to select the sketch plane first. At the bottom there are again four options are available. The first one is the 3D mode, second one is selection of sketch plane, then move grid and then plane view. So to select the sketch plane, we have to click on this sketch plane. Then when you move your cursor, you can able to select this XZ plane, YZ plane or XY plane. Now let's select the XY plane. So select the XY and click here and then click on this plan view. So the XY plane will be appear on your screen. Now we are going to create the sketch of this lifting bracket. The lifting bracket size is 200 by 120. Then again uh, the thickness is of 30 mm. There are four holes and again at the middle position there is a one extra bolt hole. So we have to create this sketch first. So let's again go in space clip. To create the rectangle we have to select the rectangle command which is available in sketch mode. So select the rectangle. Now on the left hand side you can able to see the defined rectangle from center. Select this from center. Now click on the center options. Move your mouse. Then you can define the x and y dimension. So whatever the dimensions highlighted is the x dimension. So the dimensions are 200. So type 200 and press tab key. Don't hit the enter. To switch on the dimensions we need to press the tab key. Now we are going to define the y dimension. So y dimensions are 120 and now hit the enter key. So after hitting the enter key the rectangle will be get created. Now to come out from the command you can click on escape. Next we have to apply the fillet at the corner points. So click on this create a rounded corner in, the, in sketch mode. Select this rounded corner, select this first line and second line. Then it asks you to define the dimensions. So it is given in diameter. So the diameter is 30. So type 30 and hit the enter key. Now similar fashion we have to apply this rounded corner to all four corners. So select, select first line and second line. Now the when the left hand radius is highlighted it means that the same dimensions will be applied to this newly created rounded corner so select this so same dimensions will be get applied now again apply this fillet corner to the third then similarly for fourth so same dimensions will be get applied so after creating this rounded corner click on escape then click on this pull icon so when we are applied to uh, apply the extrude we have to click on this pull option so click on pull so you will be get the surface will be get on your screen you can zoom in and zoom out and to rotate it we have to press the middle mouse button and drag it so you can see the proper view and drag your mouse select the surface click and hold your mouse button and drag it then you can apply the dimensions so give the dimensions as a 30 and hit the enter key so the thickness is get applied the surface will be get converted into a solid now click on escape again click on escape key next we have to create the holes on this surface so select this surface and then click on this sketch mode again click on this plan view so that surface will be appear on your screen now to create the holes select this circle command you can take a reference from any point so let's take a reference from this center point so to get the dimensions from this center click on this cartesian dimensions and then select this center point as a reference point then the dimensions will be appear so in x direction the dimensions are 40 so type 40 again press the tab key to switch the dimensions and then in y direction the dimensions are 30 then hit the enter key so you will be get the center point of that circle and the diameter is 20 mm so type 20 and hit the enter key the circle will be get created now click on escape key next we have to cut this hole so again click on this pull mode select this surface rotate it now click on this cut option and move it downward then type the dimensions as a 30 
so you will be get that hole will be get created now click on escape the hole will be get created by mistake this uh, extra point will be added so I am going to select it and delete now we have to apply the pattern command to create the another four holes so in create options we can cl click on this linear pattern then select this whole surface click on the two dimensional the x counts are two and y counts are two because in x direction and y direction we require two two holes and the distance between these two holes so in x direction the distance is 120 and in y direction the distance is 60 mm so type 60 and select this edge line to specify the x dimension so click on here you can see that the four holes will be get created now click on this ok so accept this so you can see the holes will be get created very easily now to create the next part at the middle position the plane or surface is required so we need to add a plane at this middle portion so click on this plane in create then select the reference so select this left hand side as a reference then click on this move icon select this plane then click on this x direction arrow move it to the right hand side and the dimensions are 100 so type 100 and hit the enter key so it will be appear at the center position then click on escape so play get created now we are going to create the sketch on this plane so select this plane click on sketch mode again click on this plan view so it will be appear on your screen and now we have to create the hole in the z direction so select this circle again taking the reference point of this so before that to create the circle first click on this Cartesian dimension then take the reference point so select this midpoint as a reference click on here then it show you the dimensions in z directions as well as in y direction so highlighted dimensions are in y direction so we are going to take as 0 as it is so click on tab key don't hit the enter then the z dimension so in vertical direction it is at a 50 mm so type minus 50 and then hit the enter key so this will be the center point of the circle move your mouse and the di diameter is 60 mm so type 60 and hit the enter key the circle is created now click on escape now we have to join this circle with up to this point so select this tangent line from the sketch mode select one point on circle and then next point on this flat surface similar fashion again second point on the circle and again this top surface then we have to join this point using the line command so click on this line command select this first point and second point and now click on escape now to delete this unwanted portion we have to use this stream command stream away command will be available in sketch mode so select this stream away command and select the unwanted portion of the circle and then click on escape after creating this surface click on this pull option select this surface rotate it now we have to apply this extrude that is a pull on both direction so select the both direction both side pull then click your mouse and then give the dimensions as a 30 so type 30 and hit the enter key and then click on escape so this middle portion will be get created now on this middle surface again we have to create one hole so again select this surface click on this sketch mode click on plan view select the circle command to take the reference only move your cursor on this curve and then take the center point click on the center point move your cursor and type the diameter of hole is 30 hit the enter key and click on escape to come out of the command twice then click on this pull mode select this circle rotate it then click and drag your mouse and type the dimensions as a 30 hit the enter key 
so you can see that the hole will be get created in this way you can able to create the geometry in space claim very easily so all things are done you can save the geometry so click on this file click on save and you can able to give the name so let me give the name as a lifting lever lifting lever geometry now click on save the geometry is get saved now close this space claim window come back again to project schematic here engineering data and geometries are defined now we have to right click on the model click on edit the model will be get uploaded within few minute this window you will be get the geometry will be loaded within few seconds now you will be get the lifting bracket geometry in this ansys mechanical at the left hand side again you can see that geometry will be loaded the material by default if you click on this plus icon the by default this structure still will be applied again first we have to set the units so at the top main menu click on units and select this units as a matrix next we have to apply the meshing so click on this meshing we are going to apply the automatic mesh so simply click on meshing right click and click on generate mesh automatic meshing will be get applied to the geometry where generally the tetrahedron elements will be get applied now we have to apply the fixed support and the applied load at the top fixed support is at bottom so click on right click on this static structural insert click on this fixed support then select this bottom surface so rotate the geometry select this bottom surface and click on apply fix support is applied again right click on static structural insert and force so click on force now select the face of this hole and then click on apply then it ask you the values so here defined by instead of vector select the component by clicking on this arrow select component and the force will be applied in upward direction so the direction is in z axis so click on z component and type 20 kN so 20 e3 hit the enter key the load will be applied in vertical direction now we are interested to find out the deformation and stresses so click on solution right click insert deformation total deformation again right click on solution insert stress equivalent one mesh stresses to get the solution click on right click on solution and click on this solve icon so for automatic meshing it will solve the problem and you will be able to see the deformation and stresses within the element due to the application of load it's a good practice to solve initially for automatic meshing and then you can able to apply the different methods refinement to the meshing to get the proper results so the problem is get solved you will be get the tick marks here so to see the total deformation click on this total deformation you will be get the value of 5.14 into e raised to minus 6 so the top deformation will be get at the top position which is shown by red color at the bottom portion it will be shown by blue color so it is a shape as there is a fixed support similar fashion to see the stresses click on equivalent stress <coughs> the maximum value you will be get as a 2.0 e raised to 7 so again you can able to see the stresses at this middle position on the face surface the stresses you will be getting 
on the face surface of this hole now if you want to see the animation at this place you can click on this play so for the sketches you will be able to see the animation for stress now click on stop similar fashion also you can able to see the animation for the deformation for this automatic meshing now again click on stop after getting the result we can able to apply the different methods of meshing and refinement to get the accurate result click on this mesh icon and for automatic meshing the details of mesh will be available at the downward so click on this statistics you will be get the number of nodes and elements will be displayed here so the for automatic meshing the number of nodes are 2490 and elements are 1269 now we are going to add the different methods and the refinement for meshing so right click on mesh click on insert and method now the geometry we need to select so click on here no selection select this geometry so total body we are going to select to switch on the selection here the options are available also for with vertex then edge face and body here we are going to apply the method for whole body so select that body click on apply now the method it will be previously selected as automatic so click on here there are again two options tetrahedron and hex dominant the automatic meshing and tetrahedron will be a same so we are going to select now the hex dom dominant so click on hex dominant and now right click on mesh and click on update so the hex dominant method will be get applied to the body and you can see the difference in the meshing also if you click on this statistics you will get that the number of nodes and elements will be changed and whatever you few change anything we need to solve that problem again so again right click on this solution and click on solve the problem will be get solved for this hex dominant method again click on this total deformation so you can see that there is a nominal changes in deformations and when you click on this stresses also there is a change in stress value due to the different meshing methods now again we are going to apply the refinement the stress is located at this center position that is whole position so we are going to apply the refinement at that position so click on mesh again right click insert refinement now again it asks you to select the geometry we are going to select this face so select this face option then click on this face of the hole and click on apply so one face will be get applied and now there is a refinement so there are 1 2 and 3 three, three modes of refinement coarse medium and fine let's select the first one and again as the meshing is changed we have to solve it again to see the refinement meshing click on here mesh icon right click update so the refinement will be applied near to the face so you can see that the refinement will be get applied near to the face also in meshing if you click on the mesh and again click on statistics there is a change in number of nodes and elements as the meshing is refined so again we require to solve it so again right click on solution and solve the problem will be get solved for the refinement again click on this total deformation you will be get that the deformation will be get increase as well as on equivalence stress also so you can see the difference again if you want to apply the fine refinement so again click on this refinement in the refinement again click here select it to two again right click on this mesh click on update now again if you observe the second type that is a medium refinement will be applied near to the face and also there is a changes in number of nodes and elements again right click on solution click on solve you will be get the solution for again deformation and stresses for this medium refinement click on deformation again you will be get here the values again for this 
equivalence cases the value is changes and to apply the fine meshing again click on this refinement select the refinement to th third one right click on mesh click on update now the fine meshing will be applied on that face position near to the face surface as well as you will be getting statistics the number of nodes and elements are changes again right click on solution and click on solve to get the solution for the fine refinement now to see the solution for this fine refinement again click on total deformation you will be again get the different values again for equivalence case there is a value will be modified so in this way you can able to apply the different types of meshing methods mesh refinement where there is a critical area and you will be get the proper results again to see this animation you can click on this animation you will be able to play the animations again click on stop so in this way you can able to carry out the static structural analysis of any machine component very easily using this ansys workbench i hope you enjoy this video thank you for watching have a nice day